out of orbit. Engage gravitic warp. Engaging gravitic warp. Our long range sensors have picked up a ship. Fast approaching. Ship registration? It's the Aqua Ellie, a Federation battleship. A battleship? What is a Federation battleship doing out here? Could they be after us? Incoming transmission. Full stop. Display the transmission on screen. Roger. Roger. This is Commodore Whitcomb of the Federation ship Aqua Ele. It's an honor to meet you all. Likewise. I would never have expected to meet Commodore Whitcomb, star officer of the Federation fleet, in these parts. <laughs> I'm flattered you'd remember my name. But first things first. That's Dr. Leingod's son standing behind you, correct? Yes, it is. Well... What I am about to say will no doubt come as a surprise. There's no time for details now, so I'll be brief. Go on. A Vendini ship is approaching you. Our analysts believe they will not attack, so we expect the same of you. None of us want there to be any hostilities. What are you talking about? How could you possibly know that the Vendini will not attack? Because... Captain! Our sensors have picked up the Vendini ship. They're sending out a transmission. Switch signals. This is Captain Bewig of the Vendine Empire ship Dasvanu. Surrender immediately and submit to our orders. Nice to meet you too. Dr. Leingard. Enemy of the galaxy and the girl are in our hands. You are in no position to refuse our demands. Dad! Sophia! What do you want with my father? We have but a single demand. You must exchange Leingard's son for Dr. Leingard. Exchange me for my father? And the method of exchange? I suppose we don't trust one another enough to transport them between our ships. Obviously not. We will reach your location in a few minutes. Further orders will be issued at that point. You will stand by until then. Marietta, encrypt our signal to the Aqua Ellie. Done. I heard everything. So that's the situation. Dr. Leingard's safety is paramount. As long as they hold him, we are unable to attack. I suppose you're right. Commodore, just how much do the Federation and Vendini really know? About what? Don't play dumb with me. You wouldn't be trying to get Dr. Leingard, let alone Fate, unless you had some sort of information on them. I suspect our intentions are not that different from your own. As for the Vendini, I'm not sure what they want, but I do have my suspicions. I see. So, what you gonna do? You gonna give them up without a fight? You gotta be kidding! I still have things I wanna ask my father! Don't worry, Fate. I won't let them have you or your father. I won't stand for that. Maria. As long as you can secure Dr. Leingard, the Aqua Ellie will be able to deal with the Vendini ship. The timing of the hostage exchange will be key. No doubt they will specify a neutral location for the exchange. I'm not sure what we'll do then. We'll have to think of something. Think of something? We'll be flying by the seat of our pants. Not much else we can do. We've no time and the cards are stacked against us. Just the sort of situation you like, isn't it, Cliff? Suppose so, but... 
Give it your best shot. I place it in your hands. Well, we aren't doing this for you, you know. Nevertheless, Dr. Leingott and the boy must not fall into Vendini hands. Right. I imagine it will not be much longer until we arrive. Sit tight until then. All right. Best of luck to you. We have to help my father, no matter what it takes. I know. Remember, I have some unfinished business with him. We won't fail to free your father. <laughs> I can hardly wait. I'm glad you're on my side. You know it. I hope Sophia's holding up well. This has to be hard on her. Captain, we're receiving a transmission from the Dasvanu. On screen. The exchange will take place on the planet you are orbiting. On Elacor? Prepare to transport down. And no heroics. The Dasvanu sent the coordinates. 147.5834. 34.8874. Location? Right away. Hey, isn't that... <laughs> oh, yeah. You've been there? Yep, sure have. Transport at the specified time. And I repeat, no heroics. Understood. We'll hold you to that as well. We'll exchange fate for Dr. Leingott and the Esteed's daughter. That's the deal. Yes, that is the deal. We can only transport six at a time. Their capacity shouldn't be any different. Most likely. Well, I guess six should be enough. Remember, they've got my father. Whatever you do, be careful. You're such a worry wart. Put a little more trust in me. I trust you. I really do. It's just... Don't worry. It'll be okay. Believe me. We'll get everyone back safely. Maria. Okay. Mirage, prepare to transport us down. Roger, Captain. I'll go with you. Hey, Stieg, you're coming too. Yes, sir. Landcar, you read me? Sup, Maria? Ready three combat personnel, equipment level A. You pick the team. They'll transport down with us. Level A? This must be serious. It is. Our suits are no match for the disruptor rifles the Vendini use, but they're better than nothing. Got it. I'll have them ready ASAP. I'm counting on you. What is it? Nothing. I was just thinking, you really are Quark's leader. Not too sharp, are you? I've been telling you that from the start. I know, it's just that... Yeah, whatever. There's still some time before we transport down, so you're free until then. There's nothing I need you for right now. I'll make an announcement when it's time to go. Okay.
I see everyone's here. All right, let's go. You've got the bridge, Mirage. Roger. <laughs> let's do it. Good luck. See you soon. If something happens, you have command of the Diplo. Understood. Well, let's just hope nothing happens. My thoughts exactly. We'll be back shortly. Take care. Stay sharp, and keep an eye on the captain. Is someone there? Jammer. Hand over the boy, now. What do you mean? I thought we had a deal. Hmm. Did you? Your equipment suggests otherwise. You Federation scum are always up to dirty tricks. It'd be plain stupid to come unprepared. Besides, we're not from the Federation. What's the difference? Hey, boy, get over here. you take the boy alive kill the rest ha! no problem yeah <laughs> 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 Seems you underestimated us. It would appear so. Fate! Fate! Fate. The tables have turned, Bewig. What's so funny, Baghead? You're the only one left! Something's being transported down! How's that possible? There's a transport jammer here! <laughs> Fools! Our technology only blocks who we want it to block. We can bring down as many reinforcements as we need. Run for it! After them! Don't let them get away! Sophia? 
Don't worry. I just tripped. Let me see your leg. Why didn't you tell me you were hurt? Must have been hit in that fight back there. You guys hide here. I'll try to draw them away. What, alone? I'll be fine. I can handle these guys. Her injury is gonna slow you down. I've spotted one! Over here! Show me where you're hurt. Huh? Oh, right here. It doesn't look too bad. We'll fix you up in no time once we get back to the Diplo. I know it hurts. But hang in there a bit longer. Okay, thanks. The transport jammer should have about a two kilometer radius of effect, right? That's the Federation spec. But the Vendini technology is more advanced. No doubt it has an even greater area of effect. It will be hard getting clear of it. If we try to run, they'll only come after us. We have to make a stand. You've grown, Fate. Let's talk it over with Cliff when he gets back. Okay. In the meantime, Dad, there's something I have to ask you. So you've finally found out. But you must understand, I never once thought of you as a tool for my research. You were born because your mother and I always wanted a child. Well then, tell us why! How could you treat your own child like a guinea pig? By the way, who is she? This is Maria. Maria Trador. She's the leader of Quark, the Anti-Federation Group. Maria... Trador? Trador? You performed genetic engineering on her, just like you did to me. Uncle Robert? Genetic engineering? What? So that means you're... I see. That's why your last name is... Trador. Explain yourself, Dr. Linegod. I think we have the right to know. Dad, tell us why. Why did you do it, Dad? Why did you manipulate our genes? I did it. For the sake of our universe. Our universe? That's quite a grand scale. How could modifying our genes have anything to do with the universe? But it's the truth. I performed symbological genetic engineering on you because of a force that would one day threaten all we know. Threaten all we know? I don't expect you to believe me right here and now. It's a long story. I'll explain everything once we get out of here. Just be patient. Is that all? You think we'll accept that poor excuse for an explanation? Maria. That's not what I wanted to hear! I'm sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. What happened? It's nothing, really. Okay. I've cleared out all the enemies in the immediate area, but we can't waste any time. I'm sure they'll keep calling in reinforcements. And there are still Vendini soldiers here and there. Seems to be no end to them. They're like roaches. I think we should destroy the jammer. Otherwise, we don't stand a chance. We'll be picked off one by one. What do you think? I'd like to hear your opinion. 
Hmm. Seems we have no other choice. Maria to Diplo. I'm here. That B-Wig's using a new type of transport jammer. We're going to destroy it. Be ready to transport us up as soon as we do. Cannot comply. What's wrong? We're under attack by the Dasvanu. Our hands are full just staying alive. Incoming transports at this time would be... What happened to the Aquaeli? It should have been here by now. They're being blocked by another Vendini ship. They need a little more time. Where's Mirage? She's on damage control. Leave her and Lankar are with her. All right. Find some way to hold out until the Aqua Ellie arrives. We'll do our best! Damn it! I should have known the Vendini would have prepared for this. Hey, if the Vendini are engaged, maybe they're also too busy to use their transporters. Yeah, there's a good chance of that. If so, then they've got all the soldiers they're going to get. Let's take out their jammer then. In the meantime, let's just hope the Aqua Ellie shows up to lend a hand. Relying on the Federation sticks in my craw, but I guess we have no other choice. It's gonna be tough, you two, but hang in there. Let's go. Never. Let's do it. 
do it. You fought well. I'll give you that. However, it all ends here. Hand over the boy, now! I will say it once more. Resistance is futile. I can keep calling in reinforcements, no matter how many of my soldiers you defeat. There is no escape! <laughs> because of this thing. Destruction of our transport jammer means nothing. Our battleship can crush your flagship at any time. Captain! Are you okay? What is going on? Where are the reinforcements? What? The Aquaheli? Damn! Pull us out now! Dasmanu, transport us up! Thanks! That was close! No problem! I'm just glad we're in time! Give me a status report. I assume the Aqua Ellie has arrived? Yes! It arrived a few minutes ago and joined the fight against the Vendini. Even the Dusk Banu should have a hard time against both our ships. Good. How horrible. What are you doing here? Glad I could help you guys before the end. You guys helped me before. Hey, I don't want to hear any of this the end crap from you. Let's get back to the Diplo. They should be able to do something. You're right. Diplo, report. The Aqua Ellie has just destroyed the Dasvanu with its creation cannons. We'll be able to transport you in one minute's time. Just a second. What is it, Marietta? We detected transporter activity right before the Dasvanu was destroyed. We can't tell what they sent, so be careful down there. Did you get that? Be very careful. Okay, thanks. If I cannot use you, I shall eliminate you! No! Dad! Doctor! No! <sighs> Fate... Maria... Sophia... The data... you want... is... at Moonbase. You must... G g go there. Dad, save your strength. 
It serves you right for interfering. This never would have happened if you had done what I asked. Slime. Here I go. Looks like an even match. Diplo, it's over. Transport us up. Roger, Captain. We'll transport you up as soon as we can. Dad, what's on Moon Base? Answer me, Dad. Fate. He'll be okay. Really? Good. How long do you plan on moping around? That's a mean thing to say! His father just died, you know? How about a little more sympathy? Fate, your father left something to the two of us. What are you going to do about it? I don't care what you do. I'm going to Moon Base. Even if I have to go alone. I'll go too, to Moon Base. We'll go get whatever my father left behind. Good. Fate. Maria has a point. It's not like you to be so depressed. But don't be too hard on yourself. Okay. I'm sorry for worrying you. That's okay. All right, so it's off to Moon Base then. Yeah, that's the plan. I've already given the crew the order. <laughs> moon Base? What in the world's that? <laughs> Hope they have lots of good stuff to eat there. Huh? What did you just say? <laughs> Do you know what you're saying? You might never make it back home again. Hmm? Oh, you're probably right. After seeing such interesting stuff, you think I could leave now? I'm with you guys till the end. Yeah, but... Am I a nuisance? 
You won't be in the way, but still. I think it's a good idea. Huh? You sure? Yeah, I think so. Come on. Fine. If that's how you feel, I've no objections. Okay, what can you do? Good to have you with us. You can count on me! Yes? Incoming communication from the Aqua Ellie. What do you want to do? I'll be right there. I'm sorry about your father. Thank you. However, all we have now is you. This may have dashed the Federation's hopes. What do you mean? What do you know that we don't? I can't tell you over the comlink. Can you come over to my ship? If that's okay with you, Quark and the Federation aren't exactly friends. The Aqua Ellie is my ship, and on my ship, I decide who is friend or foe. And if anyone objects, they can visit the brig while you're here. We'll be there shortly. Excellent. Commodore, I have a request. What is it? We want to go to Federation Station 5, Moon Base. But they would never let us near them on a Clausian ship. I'd like to ask you to take us there in the Aqua Ellie. Moon Base? That's where Dr. Leingod's research lab is. That's right. Go to Moon Base for my father's dying words. I think he meant for us to go there and find the truth. Yes. But after Dr. Leingod was captured, we searched the lab's database thoroughly. Yet we did not find any useful information. Still, we'd like to check for ourselves. You might have overlooked something. And there may be some things that would only interest us. That's right. And there are most likely things in there that only we would understand. Right. Understood. We'll transmit a homing beacon. Bring only the minimum number of personnel required. Thank you, Commodore. Then we have a deal? Yes. Oh, and about Earth. You had better brace yourselves. Huh? Brace yourselves? Wonder what he means. I suppose we'll find out when we get there. Only we will go to the Aqua Ellie. Stand down weapons and wait until further notice. Mirage and Marietta, take care of her while we're gone. Roger. Captain? I mean, Maria? Don't worry about us. We'll take care of things here. We have Landcar and the others to keep us company. Be careful. Thanks. It will take a while to reach Moonbase. Let me explain the situation in the meantime. 
The two of you in particular have been on Elicor for some time and probably know little of what is going on. Please, fill us in. The Earth and the entire galaxy are facing an unprecedented threat. You're not talking about the war with Fendine and Aldean, are you? That is correct. I imagine you are also aware of those powerful bursts of energy? Yes, exceeding magnitude 3, right? They were aimed at Earth. The planetary defense shield managed to partially block the attack, but it still caused considerable damage. It was too much for the planetary defense shield? Yes, and those energy bursts were a message, a declaration of war. Declaration of war? What alien power has the ability to mount such a devastating long-range attack? A new power, previously unknown to us, emissaries of an entity known as the Creator. They call themselves the Executioners, enforcers of the Creator, come to sentence us to our death. The Creator? Yes. It is not uncommon for dictators to claim divine origin. Their message states that our science has delved into forbidden areas, and thus the Creator has decreed our annihilation. That's insane. Sounds like a plain old invasion to me. We believe that is correct. They are, without a doubt, a power to be reckoned with. They have technology far exceeding our own. So in other words, we better say our prayers. Take a look at this. This is the Earth, and this shows our attempt to use our space stations to trace the route of the energy blasts. Their energy blasts passed through an unknown dimensional space, faster than the speed of light. An unknown dimensional space? Indeed. The blast traveled through neither subspace nor gravitic space. This alone hints at the capabilities of their technology. Shockingly, the energy pulses were released from an uncharted region over 50,000 light years away. 50,000 light years? Yes, the data stunned us. Several of our analysts rushed to get their eyes examined. Have they sent out a fleet? We don't know. If there is one, we haven't detected it. Still, a declaration of war has been made. Surely it will not be long. An attack by a fleet of such power would spell trouble for the Federation. This is bad. So this means Kloss, Vendine, and Aldian are all in deep trouble. Yes, and it seems Vendine was attempting to capture and use the Federation's secret weapon. They would consider any offer of cooperation with the Federation an insult. Secret weapon. Me. Correct. That is what I've been told. Apparently, Dr. Leingod and his team developed you after they detected the Executioner's presence years ago. But frankly, you do not look like much of a weapon to me. How can a man of flesh and blood fight a fleet of starships? Yet it was I who destroyed the battleship Invisible. What? You did that? Yes. Like fate, I too am the product of Dr. Leingod's genetic engineering. I see. Is that so? Only upper echelons of the Federation were privy to Dr. Leingod's top secret research. But if what you say is true, if there is another, then we may have a chance. Unfortunately, our powers are still unreliable. We can't just invoke them whenever we want. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. Neither of us can fully control our powers. Perhaps the late Dr. Leingod placed some means of security on you. Losing him was a great tragedy. Another reason we need to get to my father's lab on Moon Base. Yes, but as I said before, the lab's database has already been searched. Don't expect too much. 
Maybe you're right. When I investigated the lab before, I found no information of that kind. <sighs> if we cannot rely on your powers, we shall have to face the executioners with what we have. Bridge to Commodore. Yes? We have a transmission from Federation Station 9. Give me a display. Right away, sir. Commodore! We're under attack by a group calling themselves the Enforcers! Requesting immediate... Those aren't ships! What are they? Are they gods? We've lost the signal. Report from headquarters. Federation Station 9 has been obliterated. Obliterated? Orders, Commodore? Commodore? Yes. Yes, I know. Maintain our present course to Earth. Not a ship. Did I hear him say what I think he said? What could this mean? I think he's saying the executioners are gods. Wow, gods? Ooh, now this is getting exciting. Whatever they are, I fear we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. Twelve hours flight time to Earth. Okay. Connect me with headquarters. Yes, sir. Connecting. This is the Aqua Ellie calling fleet headquarters. Hermes here. This is Whitcomb, sir. What's our situation, Admiral? You probably already know, but we've lost stations 8, 9, 31, 36, and 42. The enemy has not been identified, but we do know they are, in all likelihood, headed straight for Earth. I see, sir. Our orders? Stay your present course. Other ships are being dispatched to block the enemy. Battleships and combat explorers have already been deployed. 162 ships are stationed around Earth, 112 around Station 9, and 215 around Station 20. Understood, sir. Oh, and Commodore. Word is the Enforcers have already attacked and destroyed Aldian. What? They were the closest to the enemy's point of origin. Though we were not friends, I mourn their loss. The same fate awaits us if we don't keep our wits. It's the most powerful threat the Federation has ever faced. Yet in the past, we've always managed to overcome difficulty. Godspeed, Commodore. Yes, sir. Over and out. We must get to Federation Station Number 5 at once and carry out our mission. Agreed. <laughs>